this is Dr. Tom Carr of drstocks.com. That's D-R-S-T-O-X-X.com. Before we look at a couple of charts for tomorrow's market, I wanted to invite you over to our website, drstocks.com. Once you're there, go ahead and put your email address in the bar at the top. You'll be on our mailing list for a weekly stock pick letter. Click the subscribe button. You'll be taken to our order page, and be sure you use the discount code half off to receive 50% off your first monthly or quarterly payment. Now, let's look at some charts. So first chart we're going to look at today is the chart of Acacia Communications, ACIA, which reported earnings after the hours uh, tonight and uh, just beat everything. Top and bottom line raised guidance. It's just a great company. I alerted our subscribers and uh, those in my social media feeds to buy uh, this dip here in Acadia. This is around the 4th or 5th, 3rd or 4th of, of uh, August when it dipped down to the low 60s, around $61 a share. And I said, according to this pattern, it should ramp up to 80. It did break out of that pattern quite nicely, got as high as 73 and change. Uh, tonight is trading right around $80 a share after earnings, so that was a nice trade. You want to look for these consolidation patterns and buy the lows within them and hang on for dear life. Next chart I want to look at is the index of biotechnology stocks. Uh, this is the ETF IBB. If you want a little more leverage, you can trade uh, BIB, I think it is, for the 2X and LABU for the 3X. If we scroll back a bit, we're going to see that uh, biotech has been in a beaten down condition for a number of months throughout this year. And you can see quite clearly the lines of demarcation here on the resistance side and then again on the support side. And it recently broke out of that uh, quite nicely along with the market is uh, moving higher. And then had this nice little pullback quite close to the former pivot line. And if we had a 40 period moving average, which is one that I like to use on here, we would see it's very close to the 40 period moving average as well. What I do like about this is that on balance volume is confirming the move to the upside. You can see it very strongly there. So I consider this little pullback on the biotech share to be viable. And that looks really good, good and bullish uh, holding into the near term. One last chart to look at tonight for tomorrow's market is one that I don't think is ready to go yet, but this is First Solar, which uh, gave its earnings a few days ago and has just been in a complete tailspin ever since. Now, it, the earnings were actually quite good. They beat uh, their estimates, but for some reason the market didn't like it. I, I didn't really dig down into the details, so I don't know why. First Solar is arguably the best of the solar stocks uh, that's trading. It's profitable. Uh, so I'm watching this, monitoring this for a bottom. Now, it's not there yet because you can see it's been in a down spin uh, quite sharply over the past uh, six sessions or so. But we are getting some very big volume spikes and some bottoming tails. We may be very near to a bottom. And one way you can check is to drill down to something like the hourly chart and see what's going on there. I don't yet see any real bullish enthusiasm for this just yet, but I am monitoring it on a daily basis. Um, we do have uh, volume balance and RSI starting to rise a little bit on the hourly chart, so there's a little bit of a hopeful sign, but don't buy it yet. Give it a good look. All right, that's it. God bless. Bye now.